Hey, what's up guys, Duct here, and today we're going to be testing all of the fastest ways to level up your combat skill here on Hypixel Skyblock. I'm actually really interested in this to see like what's going to be the fastest way to level. I think it's going to be pretty interesting because I, I literally don't know the best way right now. And like, honestly, combat is one of the hardest ones to level. I asked my guild and they're like, literally everybody wanted combat. Because I was like, yo, what skills should I make a video on? They're like, combat. I don't know how to level it. I'm like, you know what? I don't know how to level it either. Well, I mean, I knew how to level it, obviously, like, just killing mobs. But, like, how to efficiently level it quickly. Like, I just, it's, to me, it seems like the hardest one to actually really level quickly. I I mean, if y'all can think of another one that might be harder, go ahead and post it in the comments down below. I'm probably going to do this for all the skills at some point, obviously. But for now, well, we're doing combat, okay? Because combat seems to be the one that even I myself don't know the real answer to. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to be testing is the Runin's Bow here in the Blazing Fortress. Now, obviously, it's pretty good, no matter what. I, I know 100% this is going to be good. I just don't know exactly how much combat XP I'm going to get from it. So, the only way I'm really going to be able to check is going to my combat, like, right before we start, and checking what we're at previously. Because, as you can see, when I bow and kill something, like, it doesn't actually tell me the combat XP I'm gaining, or what I was at before. Because, I like, it just tells me how many coins I'm getting from it. So, I don't know exactly, like, we might have to wait, like, a second after to see exactly how much we're getting. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to basically bow them for five minutes, see how much combat XP we get from it, and then see how that's looking. And then we could go and compare that to some other methods. All right, so we're five minutes in. Let's see what our combat level's looking at. All right, all right. So we're at 63,000 now. So we were at, like, 62,452 before we went in and started killing all the mobs. We're at 63... 026 right now if we only got like 500 combat xp out of like five minutes oh boy this is almost certainly not going to be the best method then but we'll see i, I don't know if it's going to change in the next like couple minutes or so so i'm going to give it a bit to change because i know it does take a second for the system to actually load it up and we'll see if it changes at all and see if that it maybe is decent i you know we'll see four okay so <laughs> So we have determined that killing magma cubes is definitely not going to be the best. We, I still don't, it's, it still isn't updated. So I'm assuming we're just going to be stuck at like around 500 XP from this. Primarily because we're only getting four XP per magma cube. Now with the skeletons are 13 per, which is quite a bit better, but uh, we, we did kill a, a few with the skeletons, but not nearly as many uh, as you could probably tell from like the three coal and eight bones it, it was a very small minority of with the skeletons that we killed all right so the next test is in the deep caverns and let's see we got oh i didn't actually read that oh boy all right let, let's see how much we get from killing one of these mobs here we get 24 combat xp from killing these mobs oh boy i can almost guarantee you that this is going to be the best all right well let's let's try to get an exact number let's kill one all right we're at Okay, I, I need to kill one, not pick up the coins. Come on. 63,290. Alright, we're going to start at 63,290 and do this for five minutes and see what we end at. Alright, it's been five minutes. Let's kill one of these guys with a pickaxe and see how much we made in five minutes. Oh gosh. Okay, so we were at 65 something. 65,834. 65,834. What were we at before? Like 63,290? So we got like at least 2,000 combat XP from that. Wow, so like four times better. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, so far it's looking like Deep Caverns might be your best bet. Also, you're going to be getting, you know, uh, uh, we tested this in how to make money video. You're not going to make nearly as much money here in five minutes as you would from farming like pumpkin or melon or something. But if you're getting the money, the XP and the combat xp all from one place i mean this place is really good <laughs> all right so i'm just curious how much do we get from killing a zombie here so we get 20 from the diamond okay so if you get 20 from the diamond reserve we get 24 from the obsidian reserve so when the end comes out if there's mobs higher than level 20 you're probably going to get the most combat xp from killing those mobs 
But right now, to me, it seems like the Obsidian Reserve would be the best because that's the highest level mobs you can possibly fight besides like the bosses. But obviously those are, aren't going to be recommended because they're just, you can't consistently fight them, obviously. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test the Diamond Reserve for five minutes. Let's get our mark by killing one of the zombies here before we begin. We're at 66254, is that right? I, I, let's let's make sure we're at the right let's let's make sure we do it right 66 274 all right so let's do this for five minutes starting now all right so our time should be up let's see what we're ending at 68 5 68 6 5 4 so uh, you know actually that 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 would seem to suggest we actually made just about the same amount or more I don't know all the math in my head, so I'll go ahead and calculate that afterwards, but it seems like both are pretty similar, probably because there was literally nobody else here in the Diamond Reserve with me. So I was able to pretty much get all the kills myself, and there were no kills stolen from me, and it's only four less combat XP per kill, so if I'm getting more kills, that's more important than more XP per kill necessarily. So maybe the diamond reserve actually might be a little bit better, but your mileage may vary. And also that would be considering that there's no one here right now, which I predict usually there wouldn't really be anyone here because I don't normally ever see people in the diamond reserve. Whereas in the obsidian reserve, obviously there are quite a bit of people there occasionally. Limes are going to be interesting. You get 12 per. Oh boy. I... I mean, we can test it, but it's almost guaranteed that it's going to be worse than the Diamond Reserve and the Obsidian Reserve if it's 8 less combat XP than the Diamond Reserve. And there's, like, almost certainly not more slimes than there are. I mean... what Do we, do we get the same from these big ones, is the question? We get 20 from the big ones. Okay. So if we get 20 from the really big ones... We get 12 from the medium ones. I mean, there, there's no way that is better than the diamond reserve. But if y'all do want to get combat XP from the slime hill, I'm sure you can. Then I was going to comment and be like, I get a ton of XP from the slime hill. If you do, tell me how. I mean, maybe, you know, like, like really, uh, as when I was doing the bow video, bows don't really work in here. Or maybe then I could see it. But they, since they don't, I, I, I can't see you being able to kill more slimes than you could kill zombies in the diamond reserve. But if y'all want to go ahead and try, you can. Uh, I just, I don't think I'm going to try it. I mean, I might, yeah. I've gone and calculated out for both the obsidian reserve and the diamond reserve for how much combat XP you can get in the total five minutes. So I calculated for the obsidian reserve, we got 2,544 combat XP within the five minute span, which is pretty good. I, I think, you know, that's around 500 a minute, which, you know, if you do it for an hour, you get about 30,000. So it's about three hours to get, yeah, a, hundred, a little more than three hours for 100,000. Honestly, it's a little bit slow. Uh, compared to like the other skills, but it's something it's better than nothing. You also get like you also get XP and coins out of it and all that other good stuff. You get bones and you get rotten flesh, so it's okay. Just combat pretty much seems like one of the hardest things you could possibly level up. Now the diamond reserve, so the diamond reserve got us 2380 combat XP within the five minute span which is about in the range of like 165, 164 less combat XP in the same amount of time. So honestly, not that bad. That's only eight more, basically that's like eight more zombies killed in the diamond reserve and it, they would have been exactly equal. So it, it's pretty close. Honestly, guys, it doesn't matter which one you use. I personally, I would use the obsidian reserve because it is a little bit faster and over like an hour span that could make the difference of like, you know, a 2000 combat XP, which will add up, you know, the more and more you grind combat, that's going to add up. But at the same time, there's hardly ever going to be anybody in the diamond reserve. Of course, this was when nobody was in the diamond reserve. And this was when there were quite a few people in the obsidian reserve. So maybe if there were less people in the obsidian reserve, you'd make even more from the obsidian reserve. And then it wouldn't be quite as much of a competition. 
I don't know. This is just one test case. I didn't do like 10 test runs because that would take me forever. And obviously I can't do that. If I were y'all, I would do the Obsidian Reserve. Unless that's just really busy, then you could do the Diamond Reserve and realize you might get a little bit less, but not that much less. You're going to get the same drops. You're going to get zombie flesh. You're going to get bones. So really, there's no difference there. Anyways, I hope this video really does help you out with gaining your combat XP, which I really hope you're not trying to get to like 25. If so, I wish you extreme luck in somehow getting there. I mean, I might get there eventually, but oh boy, am I not grinding straight up until I get there. That would be a very, 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 very long and very, very, very boring grind. I mean, that's we're talking like literal days of grinding literal days anyways as i said hope it helped you out if it did consider liking the video it helps promote it and helps me out a lot also if you're new here consider subscribing for more content here on my channel anyways hope you all enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next video guys peace and before we go let's make a quick shout out to all of my members Shout out to all my tape fanatics in Valus, Complicated, Brax, Haha, Kyle Zhao, My World, Jaxter, 819, FTH underscore Ryan, Krep Kirby, Andrew Smith, ATR Vibes, The Last, L, WowJ, EverG501, Angel of Death, Dark Dwayne, Sod, LGB, It's Aura, Doxy X and Greenlee UW. And lastly, a massive shout out to all my tape addicts in Smiley TV. Oh my god, it's Perry. 52 and 2, Atticus Scout, and Leon Rom. Thanks so much, guys. Y'all are all awesome. Anyways, I hope y'all did enjoy, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, guys.